karma versus agreements. Hey guys, so I just wanted to um, do a little video on the topic of karma versus agreements. And I got a download the other day and because I'm working on creating a course on um, healing you and transforming your um, life situation, which a lot of people of us like to call it karma. But honestly, there really is no karma because there is no punishment. Uh, source didn't create punishment, right? And it's actually the, re the action of um, recreating, right? Because nothing can be destroyed. Um, everything is in action and everything is in momentum of the recreation of it. So it's the evolution of what's been created, which is the result of and then the cause of it, right? And so how we're experiencing it and acting in response to the situation which creates that, which is the momentum. And with that, um, the karma can be changed. And so there's there's no punishments um, by source. There's no, um, um, there's, you know, there's no reaping of it because it can be changed. Energy can be changed and manipulated, which is by time and space, right? And so we can change the energy and vibration that we're on, uh, which is, a lot what Abraham Hicks talks about, you know, um, what energy vibration are you hanging out on, you know, because that's what's going to be your experience, right? And not only does that work with manifesting, but with what it is on how it is that anything that we do that may be unwanted, right? And so we're going to receive that. We're not reaping it because there's no, you got to change that. There's no punishment, you know. It's learning and evolving and experiencing. Um, but a lot of people like to put the negative condemnation on it um, about punishment, which is a lot of ritual based on past experience and teachings and, and um, handed down through like religions and different things, belief systems, right? But honestly, there is no karma. And again, I've had my near death experience and I've been over on the other side and I have a lot of, and I receive this information. Um, and it also is given to me and the experience, the information I had from the other side that I bring to this. So um, what they were given to me when they had to download is just to remind people that, you know, there's no karma. Um, however, there is a difference between karma and agreements, right? So agreements are what we've made prior to coming in here. So that is going to be a different scenario. And so that's what they want me to bring forth in this um, video. The agreements are agreements that we've signed up for, that we've created with intention to come back to transform and fix or change, manipulate what was before. And so we have these karmic, agreements which helps us to change it right and so again not a punishment but we've agreed with others to come in at a certain time specific time place and to experience that to change it to either see from our perspective which again we've chosen it so there's no victimhood and we not that we've chosen that experience specific experience but we've chosen to see it in a different way and so the experience that's been created that comes up creates that whatever that is to help you see it in a different way and so then it evolves through that um, which is the karmic relationship um, so we have the uh, karmic agreements right the karma there's no reaping there's no punishment so we're not going to you know people say oh well you're going to get back what you put out right not necessarily, right? We're just because we slap somebody doesn't mean we're going to get slapped, right? Uh, just because we trip somebody doesn't mean we're going to get tripped. There's other things going to come and happen based on what we're choosing from our life review, and we go over whatever our agreement is at that point. Okay, so well, let me do this. I don't want to experience this, and I don't have to experience that. There's no have to on the other side. It's what we're choosing, and so there's no victimhood. So we choose from our life review, what we're going to do, either we're going to come back and heal it, or we're going to change it or morph it, or we're going to 
be on in on another perspective of it, looking at it so we can see it from a different view. We may not be, for example, and I'll give you this, right? So there's the dynamic of the family. You might have the mother and the father and the child, right? And so in one lifetime, you might be the, the wife. And if there's like arguments between the father and the mother, you might be the wife, experience it from that perspective. And then you have the child perspective of it and the father perspective of it. And the father is abusing the mother. So you have all these perspectives going on. So just because you are on the receiving end of that doesn't mean you actually did that to another person. You may have just been from the child perspective. And so for you to gain the insight of the parent, you chose to be the parent the next lifetime and switch places. And so it's not that you're always going to receive what you've done. You're, going, you're doing these different things so we can see from different perspectives of the situation of what we're trying to learn from and we're, our divine <laughs> karmic agreements are that that we have agreed to from I'm going to do this and so we're attract and put into these situations right and so um, a lot of this is misconstrued based on you know you did this so you're gonna get this right and so actually that's just wishing harm on another person and so that experience <laughs> isn't um, a good experience because then if you're on that end, you know, when you go to do your life review, then what are you going to do, you know, um, to understand that? Because if you're not understanding that in a life that you're wishing harm on another person, you're actually just wishing that on yourself, right? And so we just learn these lessons by what we're doing. We go and we go to, you know, the other side. Um, we have our life and then we look at our life review, we come back and we do whatever we do to change it, manipulate it, or heal it, right? We don't have to continue to reap, right? That's a false teaching. We're not gonna continue to reap because we can heal, right? And we can change energy and vibration. We can exist in our lives on a higher vibration. And so we're not continuing with that energy anymore. Right? Because as we evolve, we evolve into a higher vibration energy. And so we can see it from a different perspective than what we saw it before when that actually happens. Even in during the lifetime, we don't always have to go over to the next lifetime, you know, into the death experience to see it and do the life review. We can actually see it in the lifetime, which is why we can actually do it now in the moment without having to do that and then come back and, you know, play another part so we can understand it. So we can do our life reviews now. That's why I'm working on um, getting this program set up for people um, to understand that um, and to awaken to that understanding that there's no punishments or reaping of any actions that we've done, but the karmic experiences through our agreements with others to play it out so we can understand it are something that we agree to. So those we're not going to change, right? Um, because then we have that understanding between you and that person because they're going to get something out of it too. They're going to get change, um, manipulation of their experience. They're going to get help with understanding their, their experience, right? And so um, there's really no changing that per se on a certain level. However, the experience can change and evolve and to help you manipulate and change on a different level of experience, right? And so generally, um, there's no changing from what they're bringing in for me to share with you. Like the agreements, there's no change in the agreements. They're more set in stone um, versus, you know, the, what we believe to be karmic, right? And so you can change and manipulate those at any time. Um, it's the changing of the agreements that you can't, you have to go back and rework those, right? And make something else up um, to experience from that. All right, um, hopefully that's been helpful for you in the difference between, you know, the karmic and the karmic agreements. And a lot of people call that like your soul agreements, um, things like that. Um, but, yep. Yeah. All right, happy journeys.